It is the second uh, cargo vehicle provided by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency for the space station called HTV or H2 Transfer Vehicle. This one in particular is named Konotori, which is uh, the word that means white stork in Japanese. It was selected through a competition in uh, Japan and uh, talks about the delivery of uh, something special of joy and happiness, such as the supplies that it will deliver to the International Space Station. That vehicle is due to launch from the Tanagashima Space Center, or Tanagashima in Japan, on Thursday, January 20th. That uh, will be shown here on NASA television with the coverage uh, beginning at midnight uh, that morning with launch scheduled at 12.29 a.m. Central Time next Thursday. The uh, vehicle is bringing uh, over uh, four tons of supplies uh, to the International Space Station, including some uh, replacement units or spare hardware for the space station that will be housed in an unpressurized section of the vehicle. Uh, for the first time, those uh, large components being delivered on something other than the international, s other than the space shuttle. The uh, Conatory uh, 2 vehicle will be flying in uh, close enough to the International Space Station for the station crew members to uh, latch onto it using the station robotic arm, Canada Arm 2. That uh, robotic arm will be used to bring it in to attach it to the station. It uh, will be attached to the Earth facing port on the Harmony node at the forward end of the complex. And the robotic arm will also be used to help uh, retrieve those uh, hardware components from that uh, bay. Those uh, components seen here in this video will be uh, installed on the exterior platform of the Japanese Kibo laboratory and then on an exterior uh, logistics carrier uh, for storage at the station for when they're needed. The crew members on board the space station have been spending time this week getting ready for that uh, vehicle's arrival. In particular today, NASA at